Dr. Christy Adamo is trying to better understand why one in four Canadian children is obese. In her lab at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario in Ottawa, she is looking at ways to improve the health of kids. Among her findings is the fact that the amount of weight a woman gains during pregnancy can affect a baby's size at birth. So women who gain in excess of what is expected or what the guidelines suggest, that she has a greater likelihood of having a large for gestational age baby. So a baby that is larger than one would expect at that point in gestation. There's also considerable evidence to suggest that uh, if you gain excessive amount of weight during pregnancy, that can predict overweight and obesity in the preschool years, in the elementary school years, and beyond. The larger you are when you start out, the smaller the amount of weight gain you should, you should be, whereas the smaller you are when you start out, the greater amount of weight gain there can be. So to give you an example, somebody who is considered of normal weight, so they have a BMI of less than 25 kilograms per meter squared, they're expected to gain between 25 and 35 pounds, so that's sort of their window. However, if a woman is overweight, so that is their BMI is greater than 25 but less than 30, their window shrinks a little bit, so they're supposed to only gain uh, up to 25 five pounds. And then if a woman is obese, so that is they have a BMI of greater than 30, then their window is even smaller and the maximal amount of weight that they are supposed to gain is 20 pounds. So you can see that depending on where you start, it sort of delineates what, how much weight you should, you should gain safely. Dr. Adamo's research has found that 60% of women, whether lean, overweight or obese, exceed the recommended amount of weight gain during pregnancy. But women who are overweight or obese are three times more likely to put on excess weight when pregnant. While uh, gestational weight gain is an independent predictor regardless of where you start, so even if you're lean and you gain excessive amounts of weight, you can still have a big baby and that baby can go on to be a big uh, child and adolescent, etc. But if you are overweight or obese pre-pregnancy and exceed the gestational weight guidelines, the likelihood is even greater that you have a big baby. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, you can certainly uh, realize that gestational weight gain in itself is a modifiable target. So even if you enter pregnancy at a larger weight than you would like, the fact is you can try to control that amount of gestational weight gain so that it's better for you as the mom and better for the baby down the line. So if you can try to control at least what you gain during pregnancy, uh, you, can, you can help that baby uh, downstream. Dr. Adamo disputes the common belief that women can eat as much as they want when pregnant. In most instances, a pregnant woman's nutritional needs should not be drastically different than before she became pregnant. The idea or the, the uh, preconceived notion that you can eat what you want that's actually been proven to be false. You shouldn't just eat what you want. Really, during the third trimester of pregnancy, there's a need of less than 300 kilocalories, which most women don't really re realize. So 300 kilocalories is half a bagel and a small apple. It's a very small amount. Similarly, it's not an excuse to stop exercising either. Women who are not physically active before they get pregnant should also start to engage in an exercise program as well. Dr. Adamo says it is important that parents reinforce healthy and active lifestyle habits in children throughout their life in order to break the cycle of obesity between generations. We're hoping that if we can intervene with pregnant women and help them to provide the healthiest intrauterine environment there is, that we can have that baby start out right from day one.